I want to talk to you about Captain Solio's murder. Again. I have the remains of SOD3. Can you get any information from it? Oh god, another fade to black. You are the king of those, aren't you? Yeah, let's take a look at his last feed. It's blue! Oh, there we go. Hello there. What is this? Oh my, she's dead! That was so helpful. But apparently Nico might be able to make something of it. Let's talk to him! No, actually, let's talk to this guy. I'm sure that is the answer to the problem. I have to talk to this guy, like, 17 times. Remember to two? NACHIDOS! Okay, I'm sick of that. Let's just go with a solution. My deck is still warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I don't want to play Pizak. I want to show you SOD3's last transmission. If it'll help Dagon, you got it. There's no way that Dagon could have done it. One of those comments in the law. That's the opposite direction of the marketplace. We should go talk to Captain Riken and clear all of this up. All right, let's fade to black again then. Yeah, or just cut to black. You know, whatever, whatever works. Black. Nico, is it? <laughs> we cut to black. That's what brings funny. You here? <laughs> Racism. Dagon Ghent couldn't have killed Captain Cilio. That's a bold statement. I assume you have some sort of proof. I do. Nico can explain it. Babyface over here with the freakish makeup can explain it. It's a long story, so bear with me, Captain. The night of the murder, I was. Oh God! You are the king of Fate night. to Blacks too. That should do it. We still don't know who killed Sulio, but this will greatly assist our investigation. Oh God, hideous old man that looks like Rukel Wrinkleskin. You have been ordered off this investigation, Captain. I hope you can explain yourself. I had nothing to do with this, sir. This citizen found information about Captain Sulio's murder. It's material to the investigation. We've already got our man. Sulio and this Ghent were fighting the night she was murdered. He had ample motive. Shut up, Rukel Wrinkleskin. They weren't... How much investigating did you do? She just called him a few names. We did our job, Offworlder. And an hour or two of meddling on your part gives you no right to say that. Have you read the report? Some of the things Solio called him were vile. Solio and Dagon clearly hated each other. Did you talk to anyone in the bar? Others can confirm that they were good friends. Why, you little... Friends would not carry on in such a man. It's absolutely true, Major. I was a friend of both of them. They've done this dozens of times. Bahima, the bartender, can confirm it, as well as half a dozen other people. They were not pair, but they certainly didn't hate each other. I see. Well, there's still the fact that he was right there at the scene of the crime. You are pissing me off, old man. <sighs> you... Ugh. So were other people. Some salvagers were stripping the serving droid there within a minute or two. So what? What matters is who was there first. An eyewitness said he came from his office almost immediately. The only thing that matters to me is that he was within blaster range when Sulio was killed, and he did not have an alibi. You are such an idiot. The cantina's serving droid shows the real killer, and it isn't Dagon. That's not quite right. The recording doesn't show who did it, just the direction the shot came from, which is the opposite direction from Dagon's office. I've seen it myself, Major. Nico isn't the only one that spotted Dagon coming from his office. It really can't be Dagon Ghent. The real killer is still loose. Very well, Captain. Set Ghent free, then. But if later it turns out that he did do it, it's gonna be on your head. Honestly, I was waiting for the option to kill that old man. He was really pissing me off. I'm getting Dagon Ghent out right away. <laughs> the Major sure isn't happy. Great job, Nico. Without you, I'm pretty sure that the Doctor would still be behind bars. And thanks for your legwork, Offworlder. What were you trying to do, Offworlder? If I hadn't spoken up for Dagon, he'd still be in jail. What do you mean, what was I trying to do? The Major seemed particularly unwilling to believe that Dagon was innocent. The investigation has been handled at the highest levels. I've heard there's been some concern about that. With Dagon free, I don't know if the investigation team will find another suspect. They haven't been as diligent as other investigators. What do you mean? I'm not going to say anymore. 
probably said oh, you God, you. If you head over to Dagon Gent's office, some men will bring him there shortly. Thanks for Thank clearing you. this whole thing up. I could tell the justice wasn't being served, but obviously, we all have our orders. We really need to patrol that sector better. Yeah. Thanks for getting me out of there. As detention cells go, it had definite class, but I prefer being out of my own all the same. I owe you and Mandalore one. God, who does he look like? He looks like someone from a movie, but I can't think of who it is. Okay, now time to read the dialogue options. Because that's been what the last several parts have been almost completely. But you guys like dialogue, right? That's why you watch me to just see me talk to bald NPCs all day. Ugh. This isn't Breaking Bad. Not everybody has to be bald. Why were you locked up in... Well, that's a stupid question. Mandalore said you might be able to help me out. I need to get in touch with someone from the palace. Not many people can help you out with that. There have been several assassination attempts on Queen Talia. That place is locked tighter than a hut's fault. I know a few people, though. What do you need to get in touch with? A Jedi Master. A Jedi Master, you say? Now that is interesting. It's quite a bounty in Jedi these days. Not that I'm looking to collect, but there's a Master there. I think I know who it is. Uh, maybe the close advisor to the Queen who wears Jedi robes and speaks in riddles. That is a good place to start. You think you know who it is. <sighs> Can you get me in touch with someone inside the vent? There's a slight problem with that. I know you don't want to hear that since you went through all the effort of springing me out. The thing is, scavengers have already looted most of my stuff. Most of it's garbage anyway, so I don't care too much. But I did have a couple of encrypted holodisks that they nabbed. So here's the punchline. I need those discs because they have some contact information on them. People I know you don't just walk up and chat with. There's a procedure, and that holodisc has the procedure. Of course. So who has them? The Kells gang pretty much owns this street. From what I hear, she's the one that cleaned me out. She's in the local cantina most days. She's tough as Drexel leather and more dangerous than an angry Wookiee. You take Mandalore with you, though. You should be just fine. Just get me the encrypted all the disc. After that, if there is a Jedi Master in the palace, I'll get you a meeting with him. And I got a double lights, double bladed lightsaber. That's cool. And you have a, you have a lab station. Can I get a workbench? Can I get a workbench? Yeah, but do, 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 do. I don't actually know that song. I just know that it exists. Oh God, no! Stop talking forever. You don't have a workbench, so I despise you, Henry Jekyll. I despise you. Ah, I've been listening to a lot of Jekyll and Hyde recently. I've fallen in love with that show, and I've become obsessed with it. This tends to happen. I discover a show that I wasn't intimately familiar with before, and then spend two weeks just listening to all of the uh, recordings of it that I can find. And that's what I've been doing with Jekyll and Hyde recently. It's been fun. I like the show. I even favorited a recording of, um, of Linda Edder singing Someone Like You Live. Alright, now where is Bakel? She's a woman. I know that much. And she hangs out at the cantina, by which I mean the cantina. Oh, is that you? Ah, there you are. What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina is taken. You should leave. I like how I accidentally stopped those two twi-like holographs from dancing. You have s I. Ooh. Yeah, I won't be so straightforward. I would not use that tone with me. Those words will be your last. Oh God! That was hasty of you. Let's not be too hasty. Listen to Treebeard. I am just take it from your corpse. As you can see, I cl I seriously wouldn't have taken that tone with me if I had been you. 
idiot. Yeah, for Clan Ordo. Go, Candorous. Why do you keep dying? Put a shield up or something. Oh my god. This is not going to happen again. They're all almost dead. I should be able to kill them with Mandalore. Because he's a tank. He is a tanky tank. Uh huh. Well, this will be interesting anyway. Reminiscent of several times that Cartho Nassi saved my ass in the first game, eh? Or that Atten has in this game. I really. I wish I could have brought Atten on this, but, uh. He's busy repairing the ship. Which is fine. Oh my god, why are you all of a sudden missing everything? I'll do a couple of power blasts on you. Or not. There you go. There we go. Now you're dead. What about you? Oh, you're Vices. How about you? Sorry. Vices. Well, well, I guess I can do a sniper shot. Oh my god, you had a sniper scope out, and she's practically touching you. She is close enough to hit you with a sword, and you missed. Frankly, you kind of deserve to die for that, but I'm going to keep you alive just because I, I have to, in order to not die, you know? Yes! Ah! Got to run around and get some remains, cause ooh, another open starport visa. That's cool. And the encrypted holodeck discs, blah 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 blah. But an open starport visa. More money that I can spend on ridiculously overpowered weapons and armor. That's the current plan, anyway. Oh my god. Stop hobbling around and just get a little healed. Thank you. Alright. Now that I've murdered a ton of people in your bar... Granted, they attacked me first, but still. I will go back... to my running around and all that great shit that I've been doing ever since I got to Onderon. No more Benny Hill music, though. That... That joke has been played out. Have you found the encrypted holodisks yet? Yes, 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 yes. I got the holodisk from Mikkel. Great go in there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter. You best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting me. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome in ISIS anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. I have something I have to do first. Come back when you're ready. Better yet, call the whole thing off. Palace politics can get you killed these days. Yeah, it's just one thing. I want to go to that guy who was willing to pay 2,000 credits for an open visa. Because I figure he's my best bet. He's certainly the best one that I can think of off the top of my head that I have so far met. And since I am about to establish a meeting in the palace, I don't want to waste my time looking for another highest bidder. I want to get this meeting over with as fast as possible, and I really should cycle down. Hey, you. So, you're back. My offer still stands 2,000 credits for an open starport visa. It just so happens that I do have an open starport visa. This is excellent news. I'll gladly pay you 2,000 credits for it. An opening offer of 2,000 credits is reasonable, but we both know it's worth more than that to you. You're right, of course. The absolute highest I can pay is 3,000 credits. Pleasure doing business with you. No, the pleasure is all mine. No, really. The pleasure is all mine. Ha 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 ha! I just cheated you. Ha ha. Now look at me. Rolling in the money. Seventeen and a half grand. That's more than fifteen grand. 
Aha! Yes, it is. Uh, yes, yes, indeed. It is. Okay, where the hell am I going? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't have short-term memory loss problems at all. Oh, my God, Captain Recon just teleported. Run away from the guy with the crazy teleporting abilities. So you still intend to go through with it? Yes, 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 yes. Connect him now. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Grab a cot and rest. Oh my god, everyone on this planet can trigger the fade to black. That's amazing. It's the mirrors. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Backlow is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls, the general has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, your majesty. But I feel something. There is a disruption in the force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? Not cautious enough, I'm afraid. That's what I was afraid you'd say. Yes, exactly. Activate your fade to back powers that apparently all Andoronians have. On. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. Feeling is mutual. You're ugly. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. I have my ways, Master Kavar. Kavar, the famed Jedi Guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. Yeah, I've got a Sith with me, too. <laughs> you notice? You here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore. Even an old friend. Well, that's what pisses me off most about you. You betrayed me. I didn't expect you would turn on me, too. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with him was... Lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy, but there's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an expert. Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain, only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isaacs. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men! And watch your aim. Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I must return to the palace. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! Men, take care of her! I won't let Kavar escape! This cantina is infested with life. A well-placed grenade could cleanse some of the dirty and insignificant souls here. Ooh, cleanse away, Vices. Since she's already dead, I will do that. In fact, do I have a plasma grenade or something? I have a thermal detonator. Poison is nice and nice too. Ah! Ah! That was easy. <laughs> 